On today's episode, we're going to talk about how air ride suspension works. And to show you, I've got a Chevy C10 project truck, and uh, we'll just kind of start by going over the basics. On a basic air ride system, you've got a few standard components. You've got your air compressor, which feeds into your air tank, which in this case is a four gallon, uh, just a compressed air tank. You've got a valve system. Um, in this case, in most cases, you'll have a unique valve for each individual corner of the vehicle. Um, and of course, then you'll also have a dump valve. So two valves per corner and then a valve system feeds into your air spring. So the air springs are similar to what you'd find on a tractor trailer, and this just replaces the leaf spring on the, the truck in this case. Um, on an air ride suspension, you still do need shocks because otherwise your, uh, your, your vehicle will just bounce up and down. So here we've got our shocks. And quite honestly, those are the, the real basic components. Um, there are some chassis modifications that have to happen in order to pull off an air ride system and really set your vehicle on the ground. So um, instead of a traditional leaf spring suspension, we've got a like a link style suspension. And in order to let the um, axle sit up inside the frame, you've got a step notch. So that just basically allows the axle to sit way up in the frame and lets the truck basically just um, sit on the ground. So what I'll do here is I'll, I'll lift and lower it a couple times so you can see what happens. This is our switch box for lifting and lowering and you've got, um, let's see, seven switches. So front middle is whole front, middle is everything, whole back, and then each corner of the vehicle. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to lift the back. and then I'll lower it. And then we'll just show a couple angles of what's exactly happening when I do this. So when I hit the lift button, what's happening is it's opening this valve right here, which sends air to this line, sends it to the airbag. And then of course, when you hit the lower button, um, it's opening this valve right here, which is just open to atmosphere. So it's dumping all that air out of that bag. Inside the truck, we've got a gauge system to monitor each of the four corners of the, uh, the air ride system. Um, so each gauge has two pins, so that covers, of course, you know, all corners. Um, here you can see we're at about 75 PSI. I've got the one corner, the gauge unhooked right now, but um, that's, you know, relatively important just so you can kind of monitor what's happening. Really, that's all there is to an air ride system. Um, in, pra in theory, it's really pretty simple, but, uh, you know, it's just kind of difficult to work out all the bugs, but pretty cool. Um, cool way to get around if you got an old truck.